World Indoor 60 meter bronze medalist Jamaica's Akeem Blake delivers a solid 100 meter season opener at the Miramar Invitational. No, he didn't win, but he did what he was there to do, running into hurricane force winds. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here. Thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next bit of drop to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. And already, yep, good to go. Well, Akeem Blake is having a great 2024 season. The youngster who ran third, becoming the bronze medalist in the World Indoor Championships held in Glasgow earlier this year. Well, he just opened his season and I thought he looked solid. I should state, opened his outdoor season. Down in Glasgow, a great Several Jamaican men entered the 100 meters, but it was Jamaica's Akeem Blake and Andre Ewers who managed to make it into the top three. It was Courtney Lindsay of the United States who won in a season's best of 10.8. Eight. I don't know if it's a season's best, however, though, people, because the win was a minus 2.4, which is Gale Force wins. Akeem Blake also ran the same time of 10.28, and Andre Ayers ran 10.43. As I said, the win was a minus 2.4, minus 2.4, which is really strong wins that they were running into. So these times are not really legitimate. Um, but the truth is, I was impressed with Akeem Blake, I think he did what he needed to do. And racing underway, Eric Brown had a nice start. Will Akeem Blake emerge out of the middle of the track? He's going to have a go at it as Courtney Lindsay. Rowan Watson and uh, Michael Campbell were also in the 100 meters in finals A for Rowan Watson and finals B for uh, Michael Campbell. Now available, Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with, yep, good to go, and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing, keep us growing, keep the best in sports happening. Get your Peter Lloyd World t-shirt because you royals are truly the best. Akeem Blake spoke with the reporters after his race. In fact, in fact, Paul, you remember, we originally had both Shakari Richardson and Sharita Jack. Okay, Akeem Blake, 10.28 in your season opener. You're coming out of an exceptional indoor season. What went well for you today? Well, it was great, you know, first run in the book and many more to come. And I want to say thanks to Miramar to have me again. Thanks to our Jamaican. Came, came out here to support, support us. Okay, and for those who are watching at home, what are they missing? Well, it's a great experience out here. I wish every Jamaican could, could be here to watch me um, perform. And how excited are you? 2024 Olympics, what are you going back home to work on now? Well, time will tell. Just watch, <laughs> stay tuned. Good luck for the rest of the season. Okay, thank you. Now this of course is my two cents. Look. This is his first 100 meter for the entire 2024 season. He has several months to go before the Olympic Games. One of the most important things to understand how this works in terms of sprints, track and fields, track and field in general, is that you have to peak at the right time. You really don't want Akeem Blake to come out there and be running crazy times already. Now, 10.28 into a into a minus 2.4 win is actually very impressive. Like I said, and let me explain again for those who don't understand. A minus wind means that the athlete is running into the wind, so the wind is pushing against the athlete, slowing them down. A plus wind means the athlete is behind, the, the wind, apologies, is behind the athlete, pushing them towards the finishing line. So them running into a minus 2.4 wind is like running into a small hurricane. 
it does a serious win. So 10.28 actually is very impressive. Um, him not him winning here is really not even important, contrary to what some people may think. It just really isn't relevant. What we need him to do is to be healthy, run a decent time, look okay. He's just getting his legs on him. Running a 60 meter and 100 meters are unrelated. Um, so I thought he did a decent enough job. The time was at solid time, ran well, led almost all the way. The American clipped him right on the line. And as you see, they both ran the same exact time of 10.28 into a minus 2.4 win. I'm going to underline that part. Minus 2.4 win. And I understand that us Jamaicans, we always want to be winning, winning, winning. But, but track and field is like playing chess, people. It's not just about winning, winning, winning. You have to put the ways together. So when he did the 60 meter season, he was working on his start, etc. Uh, did very, very well for his first indoor 60 meter season ever, coming third worldwide in the men's 60 meter finals uh, over there in Glasgow. Um, so he's going to be working on other aspects of his race. The coach is probably going to say, well, work on your transitions, work on your mid race, work on your, the, 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 low, the, 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 the tail end of your race. So it really is not just about winning. You do remember that you have seen Sharika Jackson last year and the year before. Run a few races and didn't win. She didn't look con con she didn't look concerned because it wasn't about winning. The coaches tell the athletes to work on different aspects of their race because people, you want us winning from national championships up. That's what's relevant. Winning right now isn't very important. It's okay. It doesn't hurt. But you really want to be winning from the national championships in Jamaica through to the Paris Olympic Games. You want to peak at the right time. So I understand that we all want the athletes to just be winning, winning, winning. But the truth is that's not really how this works. The, 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 the coaches have to break the athletes down. The 100 meters not just run. You have to break the race down. The your start, your transition to the second phase of the race into the into your transitioning into the third phase into your top end maintaining form etc it's just a lot of different things so we have no idea what the keen blake's coach told him to work on i doubt he said akeem just go run i, I don't think michael Frick would, Frick would have done that so i was impressed but this of course is my two cents i'd love to hear your thoughts so there you have it in my humble opinion akeem blake opens with a solid hundred meter coming of well Second, running the same exact time as the person who won at the Miramar Invitational into Gale Force wins minus 2.4, running 10.28. Remember, hit the subscribe button. Do that for me personally, Peter Lloyd. Remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Bless up!